Today's video is all about how to properly wear a weightlifting belt because most of you are doing it wrong. Get up and get down, get up and get Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. Today, it's all about weightlifting belts. Now, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm actually gonna be giving away a famed Cardillo weightlifting belt. Now, let's first talk about how to wear a weightlifting belt because like I said, I see so many people that are wearing them incorrectly. It is not just about wearing it tightly. Now, first and foremost, analogy time. What I wanna show you guys is the can analogy. Now, this is something I learned from Kabuki Strength. I have two cans here. The first one is completely sealed. The second one has been opened and drained. Now, if I were to stand on the unopened can, obviously I can put all my body weight, all 185 pounds through it and it stays completely stable. However, what's gonna happen to this one? Obviously it can crack. Now here's why there's such a difference between these two. It all comes down to pressure. Now within your core, you have what we can develop called intra-abdominal cavity pressure or IAP. Basically, we can develop the same type of pressure within this can. What that does is raises our trunk stability like crazy, which then helps our performance. Now, a weightlifting belt just adds another layer to this, which allows us to increase intra-abdominal cavity pressure to an even greater degree. Now, here's how you create that intra-abdominal cavity pressure, proper breathing and bracing. What you're gonna do is take your thumbs and do this with me at home. Take your thumbs right into the side. So here's your six pack, go right to the side and push your thumbs in nice and hard. Now from here, you're gonna take a breath and expand laterally like that. And what you're doing is proper diaphragmatic breathing. So we're not pushing forward, we're not sticking our gut out like we're pregnant. We're actually expanding in a 360 degree manner. So this diaphragmatic breath and then bracing over the top by stiffening your spine as if someone was gonna punch you in the gut creates this ball of pressure, this intra-abdominal cavity pressure and basically stabilizes your spine to a crazy degree. And what this does is allows you to lift to an even greater degree than without proper bracing. Just like Dr. Stuart McGill always says, proximal stability enhances distal athleticism and power. So doing this, proper breathing, bracing over the top creates intra-abdominal cavity pressure, just like the can, you're nice and stiff here, you have more power, and that's going to enhance your performance, just like the can, this creates your natural weightlifting belt. Now, those who are serious about performance and training will then wear a weightlifting belt over the top. This one's made by Cardillo, one of the greatest belt manufacturers in the world. He's been making belts for over 35 years, and this is the type of belt that I wear. Now, a belt adds another layer to your natural weightlifting belt that you create through proper breathing and bracing. Now, you have to do it correctly in order to get the benefits from it. Now, here's why it's so important. Research has shown that those who wear a weightlifting belt properly will actually have more the tendency to lift heavier weight and have more explosive power, not only in a one rep lift, but also over the course of multiple reps. So if you're doing an eight rep max, if you're wearing a belt properly, you'll have more explosive power and trunk stiffness over the full round of eight reps than without. So if we're talking performance for a strength athlete, a belt can be very helpful if you're serious about lifting big weights. How you wear one is extremely important because it is not just about wearing it tightly like many people think. They'll get it on, they'll just cinch it tight. That's not correct. You're not actually getting the most out of the belt. Here's how you do it. I'm actually gonna pull up my shirt so you can see the proper breathing and bracing. So in this position right here, you're gonna get your belt around your waist. Now for some people, they'll wear it a little bit higher. Some people wear it a little bit lower. Basically you want it for most people to be in a comfortable position. You're gonna cinch it tight, but not too tight. Because again, you want to be able to breathe and expand into it. So from right here, I'm gonna get it on that level right there. What I'm going to do from right here, watch my breathing pattern. Again, what I'm doing is just like I was before with my thumbs, I'm trying to breathe laterally into the belt. Some people, they do this, and they just push their stomach out. That's not correct. We're breathing and expanding 360 degrees into the belt. So again, from the side, what I'm doing is and that is how you properly breathe and brace with a belt. 
Now, whenever you are lifting, you are going to, no matter if it's a deadlift, a clean, or a squat, you're gonna take that same approach. As you can see with this video right here, you can see the lifter is taking a step back. He's going to take a big breath and brace into the belt and then go on with his squat. And the heavier you're lifting, the more uh, intense you want to be about this. Obviously, if you're doing a 10 rep max, it's not gonna be as intense as if you are doing a one rep max, but the proper breathing sequence of into your stomach, expanding into the belt, bracing, using it as just another layer of muscle to increase your intra-abdominal cavity pressure is the mechanics that you want to use. Now, some people will like to use a hard leather belt. Some people will like to use a more soft belt that's made of hard nylon. Now this is the Cardillo belt. Um, and I actually personally like to use more of a soft belt most of the time because I feel like it's just a little bit more comfortable for getting into some of the positions that I need to get into uh, whenever I'm doing a clean or a snatch. So again, same thing is we're going right here and proper breathing and bracing, not just pushing forward, but pushing into the side of the belt. So that is how to properly wear a weightlifting belt, no matter the type of lift that you're doing. Now, again, like I mentioned, let's do a giveaway. I teamed up with Cardillo to give away one of these belts today on the YouTube channel. So all you have to do is subscribe to the Squat University YouTube channel. And in the comments, give me either your email address or your Instagram handle so I can reach out to the winner today and find your shipping address so I can send you a belt that's in your size and we'll even do a Squat University embroidered belt like this. One of the best belts in the world from Cardillo. If you guys have any questions about how to wear a weightlifting belt, let me know in the comments section below. And until next time, guys, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have lost